All right, let's do a forgotten lion. Somebody requested this one. I kind of been slipping on them, but I'll uh, get on, get to them a little bit more. And I might start a forgotten Detroit Piston uh, playlist. So check out the forgotten lion playlist. Johnny Morton out of USC, I believe he came into the league. I don't have my computer right here next to me. In 1994, out of USC from Torrance, California. Even did some mixed martial arts after his career. From 94 to I think like 2000, 2001, he played for the Lions. He ended up playing for the Chiefs for a few years and then ended with San Francisco 49ers. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And when Mr. Morton came into the league with the Lions, he primarily was the third option. He worked out the slot because the Lions had the dynamic duel of Herman Moore and Brett, uh, Brett per uh, Perriman. His, his son is Brashad Perriman, who lit the Lions up last year. Um, he just ain't been able to stay healthy in the league. But um, I'm going to do a forgotten Lion on both of them, how dynamic they were with uh, Barry Sanders. And, you know, the best year came for Johnny Morton in 99, where he had over 80 receptions and over – 1100 yards and that and they made the playoffs and that's after the year after or the season after Barry Sanders retired um you go on I mean he eclipsed a thousand yards like four times in his career and um he was an amazing route runner shifty great footwork uh was a deep threat I mean whew, having him Perriman and Herman Moore I mean that's the best of both worlds Herman was just uh, like he remind you of Galladay he can you know he can run intermediate he was tall I think Herman was 6'4 he can get deep. He was a good, you know, route runner. He knew how to use his body. Pearman, he was a burner. You know, great, uh, great receiver. The Lions had a great team. They just didn't have that quarterback. Johnny Morton was amazing. I mean, he could run the post corner, stop and go. Uh, you know, corner. Po I mean, uh, the po I mean, corner to the post. I mean, Johnny Johnny Morton was amazing, fast. And remember, for a long time, he was the third option. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He was working out the slot, or sometimes he'd work out wide, and he was taking them to church. If the Lions just had a little bit more defense, excuse me, and they had, and they had like more, more a better quarterback, it'd have been over with. The Lions probably would have had a Super Bowl, man. With a, if you put Marino on the Lions back then, it, it would have been pretty much over with, bro. It'd have been over with. But Johnny Morton was, he was a stick of dynamite, man. And the Lions had a lot of really good players. He was like six foot, maybe 200 pounds, you know what I'm saying? And he was, he was just shifty, man. He was real, real shifty. And he took over after Perriman uh, left. And then he was just an amazing receiver to get down the field. And, you know, Scott Mitchell had his, you know, had some good years with, with those receivers. And it was a Thanksgiving game that's, that people marked down that we beat the Minnesota uh, Vikings 44 to like 38. And all three of their receivers went over 100 yards. Pyramid, Moore, and Johnny Morton. And I believe Barry had 100 or something on the ground. The Lions had one of the more prolific offenses. Remember, their offensive coordinator, he innovated the run-and-shoot offense. Not the run and running gun, the run-and-shoot offense. And, and he brought that to Detroit. And Detroit ain't had an offense that fun yet. You put Matthew Stafford on those teams and in, in the 90s, the, the Lions probably make it to the Super Bowl. That's what kind of was missing just... A little bit more defense, but the quarterback was the number one thing. You had the kicker, you had everything else. Those Lions teams, that was their window to be successful under the Fords. And ever since then, we have never had a team complete like that. Because Herman Moore, you know, he could have been a Hall of Famer, you know, just with a little bit more oomph. You had uh, Lomas Brown, I mean, Brett Perriman, Johnny Morton. I think Jason Hansen was the kicker. You had Benny Blades at safety out of Miami. Porsche, Luther uh, Ellis, I mean, or Luther, yeah, Luther Ellis. You had a lot of different guys, but Johnny Morton is a forgotten line. In today's NFL, he might be a perennial pro bowler, man, especially how, you know, the Patriots innovated, innovated the slot. With Wes Welker and Dan Julian Edelman, you know, they, he would have been a problem in today's league. Real talk, he would have been a problem in today's league. How shifty he was, you know, how they would have used him in the slot and all of that, man, and, um, like I said, Johnny Morton was amazing. He did mixed martial arts, and then, you know, he got knocked out, you know, in his only loss. I don't know why people think they can get in mixed martial arts or get into boxing and, and do something. It's a tough sport, man. But Johnny Morton, man, definitely was, he definitely was, he definitely was before his time, man. And um, I think today he would have been a perennial all-pro all receiver. He probably would have been a top 10, top 15 receiver today as well, too. So salute to Johnny Morton. 
Um, you know, I'm going to leave a highlight uh, in his description. I don't do the highlights because YouTube is real anal on the, on the footage, especially the NFL. The NBA is a little bit more lean on their footage, but Johnny Morgan was a forgotten lion, man. And he was he was good, man. And it wasn't that Detroit just held them back so much. You know, they had a team. They just didn't have a quarterback to get over the hump. You know, Eric Kramer, he battled with Ware, and he battled with, uh, was it Rodney Pete? You know, but he did win some games. He still holds some playoffs records, and I'll get to I'll do Eric Kramer in a minute. But hey, I appreciate everybody for checking in. Mercy Sports Talk, hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. We're going.